A Spokane father is in jail accused of killing his three-week-old baby. 33-year-old Eric Sherman appeared in court this afternoon. He wiped away tears when a judge told him he could spend the rest of his life in prison if found guilty. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk spoke to Sherman's neighbors tonight. Kyle, what did they tell you? Well, one woman you're about to hear from says she offered to watch the child anytime the parents needed a break. She was devastated when she learned why Spokane police and CPS were parked outside the home. Oh, he had the most dark, fuzzy, silky hair and just an angel, just gorgeous. That's how Susan Went remembers three-week-old baby Emmett, who lived across the street. Just seemed like a, a good family. Tonight, this house in Hilliard is empty. Boxes are stacked up near the front door, and the father who lived here has a new address for now, Spokane County Jail. You're charged with homicide by abuse. That's a uh, Class A felony. Uh, it has a maximum sentence of life in prison. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. 33-year-old Eric Sherman appeared before a judge this afternoon as the horrific details of what he's accused of doing emerged. He never could imagine it. They were such nice people that anything like this would have happened. According to court documents, Emmett's mother woke up August 5th and found Sherman and the three-week-old in the bathroom. The baby was bleeding from his mouth. Sherman claimed Emmett was squirming and knocked his head on his shoulder. Two days later, Sherman was holding his son when Emmett stopped breathing. The newborn was airlifted to Sacred Heart, and a doctor there told police it was the worst case of child abuse he'd seen in his 23-year career. Emmett had a broken collarbone, bruises all over his body, and no brain activity. Baby Emmett died August 10th after doctors took him off life support. It's tragic. If something did happen with abuse, the abuser needs to be punished. Susan says she even offered to watch the child days before he died. It still pains her to look across the street. Feels like I'm guilty too. I should have maybe done more, maybe went over there more. And Sherman's 15-year-old daughter told police she heard him yelling at the infant back in July, saying he didn't like the child's attitude and that, quote, he did not care how old he is. He needs to stop crying. An important reminder for parents, if you are ever stressed or overwhelmed with the demands of parenting, the Vanessa Behan Crisis Nursery is open 24 hours a day. The information is there on your screen. They also offer crisis counseling for parents. And Sherman is being held on a $500,000 bond. No one else has been charged in the baby's death. Live in studio tonight, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY, Four Nightside.